Hey guys, Greg Knuckles here with StringTheory.com, back with the fifth installment of our semi-daily Q&A series. Uh, today's question was, is it alright for lifters to take NSAIDs, to take anti-inflammatories, uh, you know, to deal with maybe muscle soreness, maybe uh, some joint discomfort, uh, or is that going to limit muscle growth? Um, that's a, a common idea, a common concern that if you do take NSAIDs, um, it's going like, you know, like ibuprofen, uh, that that's going to limit how well your muscles can respond to training, uh, how much you will grow. Um, so just, uh, just kind of to, to address this head on, um, the evidence is really, really mixed here. Um, there are some studies showing that um, NSAID usage uh, while training is going to limit muscle growth. There are also plenty of studies that show it has no effect or a very, very small effect. Uh, and there are actually some studies on elderly people showing it has a beneficial effect on muscle growth. Um, so to address this kind of conceptually, um, training and how you respond to it uh, has a hormetic curve. Um, that's, that's kind of uh, the fancy term for um, none is bad for you, some is good for you, and too much is bad for you. Uh, and that, that applies to a lot of things, but um, one of the things it applies to is the inflammatory response to training. So um, inflammation, acute inflammation, um, is beneficial for muscle growth, muscle adaptation. Um, if inflammation is too low, um, then muscles don't grow, they don't adapt very well, and, it, and if inflammation is too high, muscles don't grow and adapt very well. Um, so uh, that probably helps explain why there are some studies that show that NSAIDs are actually beneficial for elderly people and muscle growth, because uh, as you age, just baseline levels of inflammation in your body tend to go up. Uh, so maybe by taking an NSAID, lowering inflammation a little bit, uh, helps your muscles respond a little bit better to training, whereas uh, younger people and generally healthy people, they generally have um, lower baseline levels of inflammation. Um, so taking something to knock inflammation down further um, may, may not allow inflammation levels to get high enough uh, to maximize their, their benefit after a training session. Um, so, and one more thing to keep in mind here, uh, is that thus far most of the studies done uh, are pretty short term, uh, mostly 16 weeks or less, which is pretty good for a training study, but doesn't uh, doesn't shed too much light on long term uh, muscle growth. One thing to keep in mind with NSAIDs is uh, one of the other things they do in your muscles is they um, decrease satellite cell activation proliferation a little bit. Um, and this is a big subject not worth getting into, satellite cells and myonuclei, but essentially um, past a certain point for your muscles to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, um, they need to gain new myonuclei that come from uh, satellite cells, which are um, basically stem cells that surround your muscle, your muscle fibers. Um, and so it, it very well could be that a lot of studies that don't show NSAIDs limiting muscle growth in the short term, it could be that if these studies lasted years and years, uh, the kind of time span where um, you'd be reaching that point where to continue growing, uh, you would need to increase the myonuclei uh, count in your muscles to keep growing. It could be that um, the, the negative effects of NSAIDs wouldn't show up in the short term, but they may in the long term. So uh, based on the available evidence, I think that uh, it's one of those things that if, you know, maybe you just have like an ache or, I mean, like a headache or something, like whatever you'd be taking insets for. Uh, if you're only going to be taking them for, you know, a couple days, a couple weeks, uh, it's probably fine. And whatever effect that they would have on muscle growth would be small enough that it wouldn't even be noticeable um, you know, like take them, knock down inflammation, help with pain, help with your headache, whatever, and then get off of the NSAIDs, move on with life. But for most people, most of the time, uh, I think it's probably not prudent um, to stay on NSAIDs long term for muscle growth. Um, and also because it's probably just not a good idea to stay on anti-inflammatories long term anyway. If you need to do that, uh, you probably have bigger problems that need to be squared away. 
That is the video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you have questions you want answered, ask them in the comments below. And if I like your question, I'll pick it and answer it in tomorrow's video. All right, so that's it, guys. Until next time, stay strong, stay swole, and uh, yeah, hope things are great. See you then.